What's up everybody? Byron and Candace here with B-Diamond Leather. So this week we have a bunch of rad things that we're gonna be doing. Very rad. You are gonna be working on the Rat Fink patch, which is turning out amazing. I'm finishing up all the paint, gonna get it sealed. It and then it goes back to him. Goes then back he to has me. to work. Yeah, yeah, then I have to sew. <laughs> um, also, speaking of sewing, we have a lot of sewing going on this week. We are doing a uh, couple of patches and some other things for some customers. Mm -hmm. And then also the main part of this video this week is us going to show you guys how to do a mystery braid for a bracelet, or you could do it on a dog leash. I mean, really, you can do it on any kind of strap. And it turns out pretty rad. We did a short of it last week mm -hmm. as a teaser, so you'll have to go back and watch that short. But you know what? What? It is the best day of the week. It is. It's Monday. It's Monday. 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 The day that we upload our leather videos. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess it's kind of turned into like a lifestyle video too, I guess. Yeah. Maybe not. It's about to happen. It's getting warm outside, so. It is. I'm Byron. I'm Candace. That's Odin. Let's get into something rad. I don't even know what this specific thing is called, but we use it a lot in saddle making. And so we like to transfer some of the things that we know and do over to other aspects of leather craft. So we just got to look at our, our piece. So wherever we want this, it's almost like a braid, um, a braid that you don't have to braid. So we're just going to take and slice in and we'll probably make that one about an inch long so it goes all the way through it's about an inch long and on thicker leather i like to get either like a flathead screwdriver or something to open that up for me and then i just kind of fold it over actually i'm going to make this one just a little bit longer okay so then what we're going to do is we're going to take our leash we're gonna put it inside the hole okay we're just gonna shove it in the hole <laughs> and aggressively and then we're going to there it is. pull it through but you're gonna pull it actually That's how you get muscles this all the way workout. through Bam, look at that. And so that's what it makes. It doesn't compromise the leather, it doesn't hurt anything, but it does add a really cool extra little touch. So if that was on like your outside of your lee, you know, your where your handle is, if that was just on the leash, and you can do as many of these as you want. So let's say we want to do another one. Well, we're gonna go right below it. So you give it about a half inch, depending on the size of your braid. And then once again, you're just going to do a little mark down. You're gonna open it up and you're gonna bring it from the back side through. And then just slide it down. Hopefully you guys can see this. Pull it through and then just work these little pieces up and over. And then there you have it. Now you have another one. And literally we could go down the whole entire thing and that's what it would make. Pretty rad. It is pretty rad. All right. Also, this would make a rad bracelet. If you had that all the way around and did a snap on the end of it, that would make a really rad bracelet. Matter of fact, we're going to make a bracelet really quick. Plot twist. Plot twist. This is how easy it is to come up with ideas for leather crafting. But we've been doing this for 14 years, guys. So sometimes these do get kind of stuck, so you just have to work them. Okay, we're gonna do one more. All right, we got our last one in here. OK, 
Okay, so on my wrist... Actually, I'm gonna, I might do one more on my wrist. So let's do one more. Say go for it. Let's do it. Yeah. See, now you can give, make yourself or give the gift of a bracelet and matching leash. Boom. That's a great idea. All right. So we can have our last one pulled through just great. So there we go. So now what we're going to do, now you could, if you wanted to, you could just cut that right off and that could be your bracelet but for me I am going to use my rounded punch and then on the other side I'm gonna do let's just double check that that's where it needs to be yep actually I could probably even get one more with how big my wrists are I say get one more in there oh no I think it'll be fine oh yeah Okay, so we're gonna do the same amount, so that's about an inch. And so we're gonna do about an inch over here. Get rid of the scrap. Now what we need, oh, we need that still. So we're gonna punch our holes for our snaps. We're gonna punch one right there. And we're gonna punch one right there and also once these are dyed if you don't dye them first then it gets all this cool patina if you dye it first then all this rough stuff ends up being um, white or the color of the leather which makes it pretty rad looking So we are now going to set a snap. So setting a snap on a bracelet. We get asked this question a lot. All the time. This is a basic step, but it is a game changer in the leather trade. Okay, so we have two parts to snaps. Technically, well, we have four parts to snaps, but there's two parts. So we have the top piece, which is your chrome round piece, and then we have the bottom piece for that. So it's the male part of it with the female part that goes over it. You put it on it, and then hammer down. We don't need that anymore. Here's the tricky part. This actually goes in reverse. I lied. This actually goes in that way, and then that goes on top of it. We put our setter on it. And there you have it. Now we have this rad bracelet to wear. There you go. Rad. Super rad. All right, so we are doing a lot of sewing this week, it seems like, on top of doing the other project that we have going on. This one is a patch that we're sewing on for one of the members of the Unlucky Ladies, which Candace is one of the members of the Unlucky Ladies, but this isn't her patch. This is not. This is one of the other Unlucky Ladies. And what does that mean? What, what does that mean? So what we are is we are a bunch of super rad chicks that support our super rad guys in a car club called the Unlucky Ones, which this gentleman right here is president of the Junction City Chapter. Absolutely, and one of the founders. So when sewing on a big patch like this, it does help I'm not trying to hide the logo, but it does help to flatten out what you're sewing on as well as hold down the actual bigger patch. Even though I do have sewing tape on the back of this, 
it does help quite a bit just to be able to kind of hold it down and in place. And as you can see, Byron is our sewing guy. He does all of our patches on all of our cuts and vests. It's only because I've been sewing a little bit longer. 20 years longer than you. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. All right. Now let's get the other patch on that we need. Okay, so this is how you do your patches. So this is the sewing. I don't even know if it's called sewing tape. I actually don't know what it's called. Oh my goodness. But we really need to get our crap together. You know that? We do. So it's the sticky double-sided sewing tape. Yeah. Do not Google or search for those words directly. <laughs> Again, this is just our name for it. All right, and then we will get the support patch put on right where it goes. And then we'll go stitch it on. Back stitch it. And are you following the inside of the embroidery edge? Yeah, so I always follow, when I'm sewing on a patch, I follow that embroidery edge right there. Um, I just like to do it that way. It doesn't jack up the marrowing. And it gives just a really nice, clean looking patch. anything you know it goes through fingers yep and how do we know that because it's gone through my fingertip <laughs> all right that's it so there's the front fabulous and there's the back excellent okay so we're just gonna give you guys an update on the wrap fink that Candace has been working on, the big leather patch. I'm just adding our final touches and highlights. I like to go in and do the brightest colors towards the end, kind of cast some light, add some contrast. like this. You can already see that it stands out quite a bit more. And I just do it where I would have any kind of light reflecting. Highlights make a world of difference, super rad. They do. It definitely is a game changer in any kind of painting that you do. And some lucky kid is going to end up with this awesome piece. When you're doing an unrealistic character, meaning not a portrait or anything that's an actual photograph, you're going to want extreme highlights. Man, it's been an exhausting week. Look at Odin. He is just <laughs> tuckered out. He's super filthy. He is tuckered out. It's been such a long week. We have matching hair. So we did get the things accomplished that we wanted to get accomplished. And I was able to get that mystery beret done. It's a mystery. I, it's complete mystery <laughs> on how I did it. You're going to have to watch. <laughs> So I finished up the rat fink patch. Mm -hmm. um, I was able to finish painting it. Turn rad, turned out rad. rad. We were able to seal it, wait for it to dry, and then <laughs> turned it over to this guy, made him work a little bit. That's true. And then I was able to get those patches sewn on for our friends and customers. 
And now we're here mm -hmm. with our dirty dog. No animals were harmed making this video. Whether he well, you would, you to... you'd, you'd, you'd have a hard time believing that with how he's just chilling. But it was a rad week. We are so blessed to be able to have you guys uh, subscribed mm -hmm. and following us every week, seeing yeah. our antics and our shenanigans. But call to duty here, if you're not following us or not subscribed. Then subscribe. Subscribe to our now. channel. Yeah. Things are only gonna get funner because it's getting ready to be better weather here mm -hmm. in Utah. Sun's shining, birds are chirping, it's yep. springtime. Keeping it real, dirty dog in the house, yep. yeah. But with that being said, I'm Byron. I'm Candace. This is Odin. <laughs> Have a rad week, everybody. Everything that happens is motivation. <laughs> He's so dead.